Happy April Fool's Day. So being able to toggle your leveling command is very important and it actually allows you to, you know, create it into a public bot so that other servers can have it set differently. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to actually learn how to toggle on and off our leveling command and actually toggle our entire system off. So just in case that we have a server that really doesn't want it. So hit the intro. So here I am in my Visual Studio Code and you may have noticed it looks different. Yes, I'm sorry, but it's April Fool's Day, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with you with light mode. You're lucky that I didn't do entirely light because that actually looked horrendous. Like my eyes could not bear looking at that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna add something to here. So we're gonna do await cursor.execute and inside here, we're gonna do create table if not exists and this is gonna be called level settings and this is gonna be for every server and it's gonna have a couple of things so we're gonna add a uh, inside here and inside here we can just add something like level level sys and that's gonna be called a boolean and then we can also add a rule which is gonna be an integer and then we're gonna have level requirement level rec and then guild awesome so this is what we're going to use to actually tr uh, turn on and off our leveling system this is going to be for our i guess just uh roles so if you want to set roles for example when you hit roll five you get the active role some or level five you get the active role that's what we're going to use to set up this we're not going to set up leveling roles in today's video maybe in the next one i'll see how like the paces and how people are enjoying it but it will be in this video so what we want to do is actually integrating this is quite simple all we want to do is inside here when we open it up we want to just check right in the beginning so how we're going to check is just by doing only cursor dot execute and we're just going to select just select a level system from level settings or ratchet i just forgot to create it so level settings we're gonna have to name that so from level settings where and we're just going to check where the guild is like so and then lastly we're just going to do that so like that and it'll it will return us a value right so we can grab that value by saying level sys or level system equals oh wait cursor dot fetch one and whatever this is it will return it to us as a list it will be our value so if it's zero then it's going to be false and if it's one that's going to be true so then if we're going we're to do if level sys so if it even exists firstly and if it does then what we can do is or and not a uh, level sys zero instead of making it into a nested if statement we can just combine this into one so yeah so it's gonna first check if even level sys even exists right and if it does then it's also gonna check if this it's going to be zero so it's going to check for the first value in it as it does return a list value and then that can either be one zero or one so both of them right so if and i guess zero equals false so if it is zero then it would return false and then this won't run and it'll just return it or this will run and it will return it pretty simple and i hope you understood that i just want to make our code shorter a bit and we can actually just copy and paste the simple one line of code or three lines of code into every single time we need it so right here we can paste it like there and then just add ctx to this like so and there you go now we're just going to copy this once more and actually no we don't need it anywhere else now that we have that we're gonna create two other commands. So these two are gonna be actually to toggle on and off the levels. So we're gonna do bot.group and I'll tell you why we need this. And this is gonna be called S level. Pass in CTX and then just return it. And then we can do something like S level dot 
and this is going to be our actual command, so s level dot command, and we're going to have aliases, so alias is going to be e, and or we can also put in en, and then we can put in, lastly, we're also going to need, I guess, just commands, right, so commands dot has permission, and you're going to need manage go to turn it on or off, and we can do async def def enable. And now inside the enable, we're also just going to pass in CTX. Very simple. And here, well, really what we want to do is we created the S level. So we're going to use the S level group for whenever we want to alter the leveling system, the actual, if we want to change something here. And that's so we don't mix it up with our other things. And commands our group just makes it a lot easier and easy to organize. But now that we have that, we can actually do something really simple here. So same thing, which is going to be await with client or not client sorry bot.db dot cursor and we're gonna actually have this as cursor and then inside here we're gonna not actually use this we don't need that we're gonna put in oh wait actually we will need this kind of but we're gonna only need the first half like so and then what we're gonna do is for some reason this is returning me an error which confuses me, but I don't think it will be that bad. Uh, I guess I'll just fix it later on. And then inside here, we can put in level sys equals await cursor.fetch1, like so. Oh, I found out the error. We just have to unindent this once, like so. Now it should be fixed. And yeah. And also, this should be asynchronous instead of await. Sorry, that's on me. But now, after we have that, we're going to do if a level sys. So if it's actually there, if it exists. And we're just going to do only or if a level sys and zero, then we're going to do await or return oactx.send leveling system is already enabled. And this just prevents us to make, uh, from making uh, unnecessary changes to our actual bot. And so we're just going to use this. But now, if it's not, then what we can do is we could, I guess, continue what we're doing, which is going to do await cursor.execute, and we're going to update the leveling system. All we're going to do is we're going to set level system to true, and that's it. Now that we have that, this we can actually add something else here. So we're going to do else, and this is going to be await cursor, you guessed it, dot execute. And let's say it just doesn't even exist we're going to actually just insert it right so we're going to insert the values so here you can see it takes and it has one two three and four values and so we're going to put in four placeholders and we're going to add an extra one right here and because these the three the last three are integers and the first one is a boolean this will return as an integer and then these two are just kept as zero and this is just going to be set to true so now that we have that, we could send a message saying await ctx.send enable the leveling system. And then lastly, what we can do is await bot.db.commit. Like so. And this should have two ends, my fault. And that's basically our enable command. It's very simple. And we're just going to copy and paste that. Now, what we can do is we can change some things, right? So, this is going to be this. It's going to be disable. And a lot of this will be changed. But if not, it's already disabled. And this, these two should be set to false. And then disabled the leveling system and 
like so. And yeah, basically all I did is I changed everywhere where it says enabled to disabled. The messages, uh, I checked if it was disabled instead of checking if it was enabled. And I updated it over here as well. And also changed the command details. Really simple. And yeah, and that should actually be it for enabling slash disabling our leveling command. We will be getting more into the role stuff, so we're just not going to mind that right now. We're going to get more into it into the later videos. And I'm thinking also about creating a system where you can automatically convert. It's really, it's a bit hard to explain, but say you're already using Me6 as your bot, which once again, you shouldn't use your leveling system that you created. It's much better. But let's say you are using it and you have to and you don't want to pray for the premium. Now you want to switch over to your bot. But I'm I'm thinking of creating a command which will allow us to easily do that using the Me6 API and it will just update the entire database with the server. Let me know if you want a video or something like that. But yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Discord and we're so here I am in my Discord server, and yes, I am in my theme. It does hurt me just as much as it hurts you. But what we're going to do is we're going to run level. And right now, it should work because we don't actually have anything in our database, right? So it won't search for anything. And so it should find and it won't return like false or it won't return. So then what we should we can do is do S level. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to set E. So we're going to do enable the learning system, which my fault, it's now it actually knows it's put into the actual bot itself that hey it's on right now we actually created it and it should just work fine but now uh, what if we do a uh, civil and then in here we put in d right now it'll disable it so now if i try that i it says loading system is disabled on server now instead of just putting in return i actually put in a confirmation message you should you can make this into like an embed or anything that you want but yeah i have it like that and now None of my XP will happen, right? I could spam raw as, as much as I want, right? It tells me to enter the chill zone, all that. I notice how my XP is 11 here. So then if I were to put in S level E, enable it, and then do it, you'll see that I moved up, but only because of this and this. I didn't, I should have moved up a lot more because this should at least give me one. And this is in at least five messages. And there you go. That is how to enable and disable your leveling system in Discord.py. I really hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Till next time, go stick out. See ya.